Hi guys, this is the Omega Hanger again. Um, in my last video, I showed you how to do a BOR Jamie approach in detail. But in a part of the approach, I had to make a 9 DME arc at Papa Juliet Mike VOR, and I didn't really know how to do it. I just intercepted it, uh, intercepted the final chorus normally. But now I asked Michael, and he taught me how to fly a DME arc. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fly a basic VM VOR DME arc. Uh, currently, I am in an A330T23, the one with the Pratt & Whitney 4000 engines, Royal Jordanian Airlines, I'm uh, holding around Papa Juliet Mike, the same place we flew uh, in the last video, St. Martin. I'm holding till I descend to 2,500 feet. So, basically, let's look into a DME arc now. Uh, a DME arc is uh, not like I said in the last time, uh, an arc that you fly where the DME is the maximum distance you go, but it's an arc where you fly at the DME. For example, you start at 7 miles, uh, you turn left. Um, when you turn left, you go to 9 miles, and you maintain 9 miles throughout, uh, 9 miles from the DME throughout your arc. So basically you're flying in a, in like a radius of 9 miles out. So that's a DME arc. Now there are th two major ways to do it. The first is a very simple way for manual flying, that is you make a turn, intercept the arc. Now this is a left arc, so if you're too close to the airport or your DME shows less than 9, which means you're to the left. So you turn a little to the right and back, so to get yourself on the arc. If your DME shows greater than 9, which means you're too much to the right, too far to the right, so you turn a little, right, uh, turn a little left and fix yourself. Now, I'm going to be flying in a different method, which is the most preferred method if you have autopilot, and that is by making 10 degree increments throughout the arc. So what happens is, let's, for, well, normally you're supposed to be flying at 318 degrees for this arc. Um, for now, I'm going to fly at 358, 358 degrees north so that I have some more time and I can show you Derek because the arc in the actual approach is really small I won't be able to sh show you how you know sh how to make the changes properly so in this one we're gonna be flying 358 degrees that's almost the north we fly so 358 degrees minus 90 degrees is 268 degrees so at 7 miles you turn left to 268 degrees and at that time you should have intercepted the arc. Now because you're flying perpendicular to the VOR, uh, VOR course, that I means you have the VOR exactly 90 degrees to your left or around that region. Now when you make 10 degree increments you have to also make sure that the VOR has to have, I mean you ha the needle should have passed 10 degrees there. So when we intercept the arc we should have the white line which is Papa Julian Mike at 6.3 right now pointed exactly 90 degrees over there to the left and so you fly a little when it goes 5 degrees down I'm gonna move 10 degrees to the left so then you fly till the needle moves up because you're moving ahead of the uh, VOR so the needle is gonna be trailing so when it go from when it's up to 5 degrees down to 5 degrees so that's 10 degrees we again take another 10 degree turn to the left and we could make some small changes in between or minor adjustments so that we maintain a uh, VOR DME distance of around 9 miles now technically a, a VOR DME arc is an airway so um, by the rules you should be able to go 4 miles to the left or th to the right of an airway but then in, c in this case the arc is only 9 miles so you're going to be halfway to the airport that beats the purpose of flying an arc so we're going to try to stay one mile to the left and one mile to the right. So you can keep that to um, keep that as your uh, your um, pathway. Two miles, you have a two miles uh, area you can go through one mile to the left of nine, so that's eight miles or ten miles. If you can maintain that, then you could um, try getting it closer and closer until you can actually fly it properly. A uh, good pilot should be able to fly it in a distance of 0.25 on both sides. So right now we're flying towards the VOR DME. I'm going to disconnect the 
uh, autopilot here. Now, are we flying towards? Yep, we're still flying towards it. Gonna disconnect the autopilot here, and I'm gonna get us to fly 358 degree heading. And I'll also descend to 2,100 feet. Now we're gonna fly a heading of 358 that is exactly away from the VOR so we should have it pointing down or to our back and once we get to 7 miles we're gonna turn a turn we're gonna start a turn left to 268 that is 358 minus 90 and at that time because we turn left we should have um, the, the VOR arrow pointing to our left around 90 degrees and we fix ourselves off at 9 miles and then start a 10 degree incrementation and heading um, if you didn't get it uh, yet so far I'm pretty sure you'll you know understand a little better when I actually show you what we're gonna do so I'm gonna slow down a little and get some flaps Seven miles, we're gonna start turning left 90 degrees to 68. Now, um, the autopilot's kind of smooth, it might not let us turn fast enough, so I'm gonna increase our bank angle manually. Try to maintain your altitude. Okay, we're 9.1 miles out, so I'm gonna have to turn a little more. I'm gonna get this to 258. So that's our next incrementation. Now I'm gonna wait for the needle to point about 10 to 15 degrees up. We're still inside the one mile, so we're alright. Now, I'm gonna Let's go back to autopilot. Get back on autopilot. So this is gonna because uh, we're actually flying. Our one of our vector components is towards the VOR, so we're gonna be getting closer to it. So when it's around nine miles, we should be ninety degrees off. Okay, we can now in go increment by another 10 degrees. Or actually, let's go to 238. Now, once the arrow points up 10 degrees, then we're gonna go to 228 and so on till 100 and 98 and that's where we'll start our turn to intercept the 96 degree course for final approach oh, we're still not let's go to 28 we're actually a little too far so i'm gonna go to 218 so basically if you're too far from the VR Jimmy, uh, reduce your heading by 10 degrees so you get there to the arc. If you're too close to the arc, increase your heading. And that's only for a left turn arc. If you're doing a right turn, it'd be exactly the opposite. And again, 208. We're too far actually, so... 
I, this is the first time I'm flying a proper VR gaming arc and I need some practice but I am able to keep it inside uh, 10 miles and above 8 so I guess that's okay for a starter. I'll practice just a little more when I'm doing VR TME approaches. about one next incrementation would be 190 degrees and there I'll make the turn 296 okay I'm gonna make a turn left all the way to 96 degrees or you could just hit LOC to just set the VOR 96 degree course so we're gonna fly into that line. Probably we'll overshoot a little, maybe, but the aircraft will fix itself. Or not, we seem to be doing pretty well here. And we were able to stay inside the 8 and 10 mile mark, so for a beginner, I'm pretty good at this. Well, okay then. That's how you fly a DME ARC. You, there are a lot of uh, places you could send me an email. Um, webmaster at flymerline.com. I could send you send you some. Well, let me just set it up for approach. I I could send you some VR charts. You if you want to practice any arcs or uh, complete VR DME approaches, just let me know. Right, thank you for watching and I hope I have a nice landing.